Hi, welcome to our channel. Today we are going to travel around the Berlin city, the capital and largest city of Germany, by both area and population. The city is one of Germany's 16 federal states. It is surrounded by the state of Brandenburg, and contiguous with Potsdam, Brandenburg's capital. We will start our Berlin tour from the Oberbaum Bridge, known in German as Oberbaum Brück. The Oberbaum Bridge is a double-deck bridge crossing Berlin's River Spree, considered one of the city's landmarks. From here about 200 meters away, you can visit the world-famous Berlin Wall. The Berlin Wall was a guarded concrete barrier that physically and ideologically divided Berlin from 1961 to 1989. Fraternal Kiss, perhaps this may be the most famous image that appears in Berlin's East Side Gallery. This is the wall jumper. This is not, as often assumed, an East German refugee trying to escape to the West, but rather a West German jumping over to the East in a symbolic gesture of freedom. It happened in November. The abstract painting, inspired by Alavi's own observations from his former apartment near Checkpoint Charlie, depicts the day the wall fell, with thousands of East German faces pouring through to the West. Next we will visit, the Berliner Fernsehschirm, which is a television tower in central Berlin. For a city trip, it always helps to get an overview. This is nowhere better than from the world famous Berliner Fernsehschirm, the Berlin TV Tower, the highest point of view right in the center of Berlin. This is situated in the Marian Quarter, close to the Alexanderplatz in the district of Mitte, Berlin. The tower was constructed between 1965 and 1969 by the government of East Germany. It was intended to be both a symbol of communist power and of the city. The Urania World Clock is a large turret-style world clock located in the public square of Alexanderplatz in Mitte, Berlin. Next, we will visit the Museum Island. It is the northern half of the island of the Spree River. It is so called for the complex of internationally significant museums, all part of the Berlin State Museums, that occupy the island's northern part. This is the Berlin Cathedral. Berlin Cathedral is the common name for the Evangelical Supreme Parish Church in Berlin.
The Alt Nation Al Gallery is an art gallery showing a collection of neoclassical, romantic, pedermia, impressionist and early modernist artwork, part of the Berlin National Gallery, which in turn is part of the Stadtliche Museen zu Berlin. Brandenburg Gate is Berlin's most famous landmark. A symbol of Berlin and German division during the Cold War, it is now a national symbol of peace and unity. Reichstag of the German Empire. It was opened in 1894 and housed the Diet until 1933 when it was severely damaged after being set on fire. After World War II, the building fell into disuse. The Memorial to the Murdered Jews of Europe, also known as the Holocaust Memorial, is a memorial in Berlin to the Jewish victims of the Holocaust, designed by architect Peter Eisenman and engineer Bureau Hapold. Also don't forget to visit the Kaiser Wilhelm Memorial Church at Richtplatz too. Our tour is going to end up visiting the Charlottenburg Palace. It is a Baroque palace in Berlin, located in Charlottenburg, a district of the Charlottenburg Wilmersdorf borough. The palace was built at the end of the 17th century and was greatly expanded during the 18th century. It includes much lavish internal decoration in Baroque and Rococo styles. Hope this video will help you to plan your next Berlin city visit. Thanks for watching this. Please don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell button.